Good day viewers, my name is Mr. Nyati. I'm back again with another video. May I request that you subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, press on the bell button so that time a new video of this nature, an academic video is posted on the channel, you'll be the first person to be notified and learn more. So may I get started with uh, 2023 GCE past paper question 5 this one here question five section b the first question says distinguish between an acid and the base first of all you need to know what an acid is now the question is what is an acid now an acid um now if you are somewhere uh, beyond uh, 51 24 and 50 70 chemistry you are doing upper levels of chemistry an acid is basically a proton donor that is according to Bronsted role but here we are saying an acid according to the syllabus 51 24 and the 50 70 chemistry syllabi an acid is a compound that produces hydrogen ions as the only positively charged ions in aqueous solution. What does that mean? What it simply means is that when you dissolve an acid, uh, it will produce, when you dissolve it in water, it will produce hydrogen ions and the other negatively charged radical and this, so to speak, and this, because of these hydrogen ions which are positively charged, as the only positively charged ions, we call this as an acid. Another example of the dissociation or ionization is sulfuric acid, where it dissociates to two ions of hydrogen and the sulfate. We move forward. Now, what is a base? For you to, un to differentiate the acid from a base, you also need to know what a base is. A base is a, an oxide or hydroxide of a metal, including ammonia hydroxide. Now, you need to understand that they are ba bases are basically categorized into two. We have uh, the oxides and the hydroxides. The oxides are called basic oxides, while well, the uh, hydroxides are called alkalis. Now, what is an alkali? An alkali is basically a soluble base that produces hydroxide. Now, a hydroxide is written like this. Okay, hydroxide ions as the only negatively charged ions. So, if we are to dissociate this, we would produce something like this produce metallic ions and hydroxide as the only negatively charged ions. So to make the differences, here are some of the differences between acids and bases. We have this. Acids have a sour taste while bases have a bitter taste. Acids have a pH below 7 while uh, uh, bases have a pH above 7 and acids are proton donors while bases are proton. So if you put this answer in the Zambian syllabus, the 51-24 science or 50-70 chemistry, you wouldn't be marked wrong. It's like producing a high level answer which is correct. So this answer is correct. Okay, you wouldn't be marked wrong. If you would be marked wrong, ah, then I don't know. Then another difference is that an acid reacts with a reactive metal to produce a salt. In the same capacity of producing a salt, a base would actually react with an acid in order for it to produce a salt. Okay? So those are some of the differences between acids and bases. So you would be uh, delighted to pick one as the difference between an acid and a base. The next question says, explain what you understand by the term a sort. So what is a sort? Now, by definition, a sort is a compound made up, made up of positive metallic um, or ammonium ions and any negative ions of an acid. So there should be and any negative ions of an acid. That is what we call a sort. The other definition which is common among learners is that a salt is a compound formed when hydrogen ions of an acid are fully or partially replaced by a metal or ammonium ion. So what do we mean by that? So here is a simple reaction. 
When you react an acid, one of the characteristics of an acid or of acids is that they react with bases to form salt and water only. So when you react to this, what will happen is that this is an acid and this is a base. This type of reaction, by the way, is called neutralization reaction. So what will happen is that the metallic ions will replace these hydrogen ions. And what is going to be formed will be sodium chloride. This that has been formed is the one we are calling as a salt, of course, plus water here. And I want to believe that the equation is already balanced in this state. So what has been formed as the sodium chloride is a salt. Why? Because uh, the hydrogen ions have been replaced by the sodium ions in this acid. And that which has been formed as a result of what has just happened, the replacement of hydrogen ions by metallic ions, is what we call a salt. Please be careful with the definition. What is the next question? That's just the end of question five. I hope this was helpful. May you please like, share the video. I hope this was helpful. Thank you. Bye-bye.